I have a more pressing matter that requires your attention. I've received reports that supplies have been disappearing from our supply depot at the airport. I suspect this may be an inside job. If so, that's a serious security risk. That's what worries me. If there is a traitor, our entire operation here could be in jeopardy. I want you to take charge of this investigation. Report to Knight Sergeant Gavel at the base. He commands our logistics division. He can familiarize you with his unit and the depot. Beyond that, you have leave to conduct your investigation as you see fit. Report your findings directly to me. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I expect results. See that I get them. Dismissed. Let me guess. Captain Kells sent you? That's right. Well, let's take this somewhere more private. Follow me. We've converted this section of the terminal into our primary supply depot. Everything the Brotherhood needs to operate passes through here. Supplies from the Pridwin, salvage from the field, we handle it all. Access is strictly limited to the logistics detail, and we track every crate, every bullet, every bolt that comes through that door. Which is why I don't take kindly to these accusations. I know every soldier in this unit. The thought that anyone would question their loyalty makes me sick. If you've got questions, ask. Otherwise, stay out of our way. Watch your tone, Sergeant. Sir. Where should I begin my investigation? You shouldn't. This is a waste of time. I've already spoken with my men. They haven't seen anything. Tegan's scribes just fouled up the books again. If you insist on questioning someone, go bother Lucia or Clark. I can spare them. That's all for now, Sergeant. Take my advice. Poke around a little. Then tell the captain to let it go. It's not worth your time or mine. You're here about the thefts, right? Look, I already told Sergeant Gavel everything I know. Watch your tone, Initiate. I... Sorry, sir. Look, I want to get to the bottom of this as much as anyone. What do you want to know? Tell me about the logistics unit. There are what? Ten of us now? Something like that. Our division reports to Proctor Teagan, up on the Pridwin. Sergeant Gavel handles day-to-day -day operations. He's run logistics for years. Other than the sergeant, there's Lucia, me, the scribes, and a few other knights who aren't fit for field duty. Lucia? Excuse me. Knight Lucia. We joined the Brotherhood together. She'll probably get assigned to a patrol team soon. Me? I'll still be stuck here. That's all, Initiate. Sir? In my experience, hot shots and big mouths end up with closed casket funerals. Copper wire. Copper wire. Could you tell me where... Oh, I'm sorry, I don't think we've met. Knight Lucia, logistics. What can I do for you, Knight? Do you have time for some questions? Oh. You must be here about the missing supplies. I'm not sure I can be of much help, but, um, what do you want to know? What's the security like around here? It's tight. At least two knights and a scribe on duty at all times. And we've got the entire base right here. We don't have much to worry about. Is there any way to get past all that security? Hmm. Well, you'd have to be in logistics. We're the only ones authorized to bring supplies in or out. Then what? Well, there's no way you'd get a full crate of supplies off base. With all the patrols, someone would notice. But why steal anything in the first place? The Brotherhood provides everything we need. No one here has any connection to the Commonwealth. I don't know. 
None of this makes any sense. What's it like working in logistics? It's not a bad post. Sergeant Gavel is tough, but I've learned a lot from working here. I guess some people take to it and some don't. Like Clark. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the same time, about two years ago. We've always been friends. Well, until recently. Why? What, what happened? It was, uh, it was after the battle. The battle? Battle for the airport. It was our first real combat mission. It was something to see. The Pridwin coming in under full vertebrate escort, guns blazing. We were one of the first teams to hit the ground. Dozens of ferals. We opened fire and cut them down. And hunted the ones that tried to run. It was everything I had hoped for. But Clark... He hasn't been the same since. It's like he's just given up. Since then, I've noticed him slipping off by himself. Once or twice a day. I never thought much of it, but... Do you think you could follow him? See what he's doing? His shift should be over in a few minutes. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'm worried about him. War tempers the strong and breaks the weak. If that is what happened, he wouldn't be the first. It's not much of a lead, but let's see where it takes us. All right, that's it for today. Awaiting your command. Go check that out. Roger that. Check it out. Affirmative. If you have a moment, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Of course. 
What's on your mind? Thank you. This isn't a formal meeting. I simply want to clear the air. I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot when we first met, and I feel like I owe you an apology. Expecting you to embrace the standards of the Brotherhood without having a history with us was unfair. And given that you've adjusted so well to our beliefs, I don't think I needed to push so hard. So, there is a human being under all of that power armor after all. Sometimes I need a reminder, but yes, there is. When I was an initiate, my sponsor was Paladin Krieg, toughest squad leader I ever served with. He was a model soldier, embodied... If he had anything worth taking. Sorry, no can do. Hey. Feel like trading some equipment? Please watch your step. Just going to slow us down. targets carefully down here. These automobiles tend to explode when struck by weapons fire.
Brotherhood. Hold up. Calm down. I heard something. Not getting past me. Target eliminated. Hey. Need something? A smart soldier is always prepared. in several harsh environments, but darkness has always been one of the toughest. I'd just leave that if I were...
stop right there. Come on, give Hold it a on. try. There, that's it. Not bad, is it? Huh? Who's there? Come out. You. Hey, Clark. What are you doing down here? What's going on here, Clark? Ugh. Someone was bound to catch me eventually. I can't keep this up forever. Feeding these ferals? Yes. It's been working, too. What do you mean, it's been working? Why are you doing this? It's a long story. I had a friend who was a ghoul once. As human as you or me. But the Brotherhood... The Brotherhood says ghouls are abominations. They all deserve to die. Would you kill him, too? Just because of who he is? No. See? You understand. I joined the Brotherhood two years ago. In all that time, I never doubted our beliefs. Never questioned them. But during the battle for the airport, the ghouls, they just kept coming. I... I killed... I don't even know how many. They started running away. But we... We kept going. I killed them. I killed them all. That's war. They... They were just running away. Why did they have to die? We slaughtered them. Like animals. After the battle. I... I needed some time to think. I found this place. And the ghouls. What could I do? Report it, and they'd all be killed. Ignore them, and they'd attack the base. I thought, if I brought them food, maybe they'd just stay down here. There wouldn't have to be any more killing, do you? 
Do you think I did the right thing? You did what you felt was right. That's what matters. No one else will see it that way. Or care. What about the ghouls? What are you gonna do with them? I won't say anything. As long as we can keep them here, out of sight, no one will ever know. And, and what about me? You should turn yourself in. I suppose so. The captain will never understand. But it's the honorable thing to do. You might respect that, at least. I... I need a few minutes to get my thoughts together. Go on ahead. The elevator's in the next room. You can use my keycard. I'll be up soon. Heads up. Awaiting your command. I've just received word from Sergeant Gabble. Initiate Clark has made a full confession. I gather we have you to thank for it. Clark has been taken into custody, and I've dispatched a patrol team to secure the ruins. I don't think I could have asked for a better outcome. I have some caps for your service. Also, I'd like you to have a piece of armor from my personal collection. Wear it well, Knight. Captain. Now that you've had a chance to roam the Pridwin, what do you think, Knight? Where did the Pridwin get her name? Elder Maxon said he took the name from a work of historical fiction. Something about a man who was destined to become a king, and his journey to liberate his people from tyranny and oppression. Seems fitting for such a remarkable ship, wouldn't you say? 